And civil society groups are calling on all stakeholders in the electoral process to work toward ensuring peace during the governorship and state assembly polls in River State. A community initiative for enhanced peace and development is specifically demanding a commitment from political parties contesting the election. Executive Director of the group, Egondu Esinwoke Ogbalo, says part of efforts to achieve this is to get the candidates to sign a peace pact. She joins us now live from Potakot. Good to have you join us. Um, I, 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 Ms. Esinwoke Ogbalo, I want to be sure that you can hear me. I can hear you. All right, great. So um, let me start by asking you, because in, in the days leading up to this particular election, um, River State, along with other states, um, were once again tipped as a flashpoint. And this has been so, I think, majorly from 20, uh, 2003 elections. Why is River State so prone to, to violence, especially during elections? Yes, I can hear you. Um, really, River State, I mean, um, well, it goes back to the Niger Delta issues, you know, and um, River State being the major state in the Niger Delta region, one of the major um, states in the Niger Delta region. So, um, and also, of course, you look at the um, oil production and all that, um, that's where the revenue is. and. Uh, because of the economy that Nigeria runs, a mono economy, you know, so it looks as if um, when you get there, or whoever that gets there controls a lot of things. So it becomes a competition. The competition is fierce because of the amount of revenue that, you know, gets into the state's coffers. I think that's one of the reasons why it's, 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 it's like that. Yeah. Is, is it that, okay, because of, because you mentioned that because of, of, of the revenue, the, the battle for the seat is fierce. D does that mean that, look, um, do, there is some sort of, politicians use the tool of violence to, to get to that seat. Is that, is that what, you're trying, what you're trying to say? Yes, because it's, it's, um, the, the seat itself is a major um, revenue, you know, like that's where people actually, the government and all that, they look forward to that because of the amount of revenue that comes into that. So it attracts a lot of attention, you know. It's not like any other state that um, the revenue that is accrued, of course, that's also controlling, controlling some millions, billions of Naira every month. So it's quite attractive, you know, um, for, for the politician. So you see a lot of people competing for it because of the attractiveness in terms of the revenue that comes to this, um, this state, state government, you know. And also, of course, we, we are no longer talking about only the state government. It trickles down to the local, it trickles down to the um, house, um, state house of rep and, and the rest. And also, if you look at um, the industrial, what actually, what other revenue, you know, what other things that do people do here, except everything has to do with the government, you know, getting into the government and all that. And of course, you can even bear witness that when you see people that are in government, you look at them, you see people that, let me not say nobody because everybody is somebody, so maybe they don't have much, you know, within themselves, they don't have much but you see that within the space of four years, the person becomes um, someone to reckon with. The person has almost everything that you can dream of, you know, in terms of properties, in terms of cash, in terms of um, affluence, you know. So if, that's if, what if makes I, if the I seat really here, attractive. Uh, Mrs. Uh, just, just a minute. So what's the assurance that this peace pact that you're calling for um, will actually work? Okay, so, so what we are saying is that um, a lot of people, we've been drumming, this. this is not just, we are not just starting this. If you look at, um, at the banner and the things we have done, um, we have been training people, we have been talking to them, you know. So for today, it's an, just an activity among all our programs we have uh, put together, you know, and um, we are saying yes, coming. We have also had a question of people asking me, how do you do this? How will you ensure that this, this is um, 
is implemented, you know. Um, I think it's actually socially, um, having so peer pressure and all that, and social people building on that to say, okay, this is what, we keep saying it, you know, that's what I told them. We keep bringing in the, the issue of um, non-violence, asking people to submit to that and all that. And when you submit to it, your consciousness, you know, of course, we also reminding you at every point in time of the election, we are going to be reminding people that, are, that have signed to this to say, this is what you signed. Are you against what you sign? So there, there is monitoring, there is follow-up to this. It's not like on, right. on other no, um, peace, peace pact or peace accord that people sign and they just get away with you. So after every time, and, and, um, I mean, we, we are actually it, monitoring, even during the election, because we are observing the elections too. We'll see how it plays out. Um, all eyes on River State along with every other state um, that will be, be participating in this particular Humanitarian election. Thank you so much for talking to us, Executive Director of um, the, the, the Peace and uh, sorry, the Civil Society Groups in River State calling for uh, Peace Parks. Thank you so much for talking to us.